creating normal amounts of green leafy vegetables uh, removes the calcium oxalate from your bloodstream. So when we talk about poisons, we have to be careful uh, as to what we mean by a poison. Uh, this would not be good to eat. Uh, there's probably enough to kill about five or six people in here, but again, if I was to take a teaspoonful of it, it wouldn't taste good, but I would probably survive fairly well. Uh, it would be the equivalent of eating a pound or two of spinach. Uh, rhubarb leaves have a ton of uh, oxalic acid in them, and as if you notice, you never see rhubarb leaves on the rhubarb in the market. They're cut off specifically to prevent people from getting all uh, mother earthy and eating the greens off of that. Uh, not necessarily because it's green leafy vegetable and you can eat the stalk which is red that it's good for you. Now as you notice here what Madeline is doing is that the ferric oxalate because of the oxalic acid and the guanidine carbonate is uh, starting to uh, become clear. Now the formulas that we're using come from an old source and this old source calls for uh, making a stronger than normal solution letting it sit overnight and it will form crystals because this is a super saturated solution and it will crystallize out. At this point we have not been able to run a series of overnight tests to determine exactly what these are, but we do use a concentrated solution.